In this video, we talk about the rarest, most exclusive cards in NBA 2K25, my team, the Hidden Gems Collection. For all NBA 2K25 grinding, contact Rose NBA, links in description. Hidden Gems, that is what we are talking about today, guys, is Hidden Gems. What are they? Where can you find them? Where can you collect them? Should you be collecting them? We're going to answer all of those questions today, guys, so make sure you subscribe to the channel right now for NBA 2K25. 2K25 my team content and leave a like on this video as well. I'm giving away the pro pass to my subscribers. So if you want to win one, make sure you are subscribed to the channel right now. First, we're going to take a look at them. What you can actually get hidden gems. The absolute highest overall hidden gem you can get is a 99 overall dark matter Michael Jordan. Now that is only the tip of the iceberg. We have 81 total galaxy opals right here, including a card like Galaxy Opal LeBron James. And there are so many cards. We've even got a Steph Curry right here, which is pretty sweet. And I mean, you can honestly keep scrolling. There are so many amazing cards that, that you can get. We got a Kevin Durant, Russell Westbrook, OKC editions, Camilo Anthony, Kawhi Leonard. Looking at these cards, and there's so many throwback card arts. I don't know if that's something you guys have noticed. Right here, I can already tell that is a 2K20 glitched Shaquille. Kilo Neal card. If you know, you know. And there's a Galaxy Opal Giannis Antetokounmpo as well getting one of these cards. The earlier you can get cards like these, the better. But we move over to the pink diamonds and there is 179 of them. So we want to see that because as you can see, this amethyst is only 38. So if there's lots of pink diamonds or diamonds, you know, there's it's obviously going to increase the chances of you getting one of those. At least you'd like to think because there's 373 golds, but the pink diamonds are pretty amazing. Or at least there's just, there's a good handful that are pretty amazing. We have the dentist right here, Terry with the throwback card art as well as a pink diamond. There is a Denny Granger pink diamond card. There's a lot of familiar faces right here that you can see, but there is one that sticks out to me. There is a Yao Ming. This is a 96 overall Yao Ming. Can't shoot, but I mean, it is still a Yao Ming. And we have right here, Victor Wembanyama with the 2k24 gold card card art picture and he could probably shoot right 87 three ball on the victor nine hall of fame looking insane but there's so many more cards there's a Kristaps Porzingis as well we got a Paul George there's a Lamelo ball Kevin Durant that is an end game throwback card art right there if any of these card arts are giving you a reminder of anything just uh, comment down below any throwback card arts that you're seeing but there's just pages upon pages of pink diamonds Steph Curry that's a 2k dynamic something it just looks familiar so many so many familiar cards we have diamonds there's a lot of diamonds 347 diamonds so if you get a if you get a pack you know there's a good chance you could you could get a diamond card and there's a lot of pretty sweet diamonds as well I'm gonna flick through and show you any that sort of stand out to me there's a diamond Camelo Anthony Mello cards are always elite in my team sweet Jesus I'll do anything right now for this card 2k name it and i'll do anything for glenn rice with the 2k24 card art there's a diamond point guard ben simmons card that could be very glitchy this time of year a diamond chet holgram could be dangerous we know he's seven foot one and i mean i could honestly just go on and on there are so many 24 total pages of diamond cards and then we have amethyst rubies sapphires emeralds and of course gold but obviously when it comes to gold there's nothing that's going to jump out of us right here but these are obviously going to be the cards that is your best chance if you get a hidden gem pack your best chance is going to be from one of these cards right here one of these gold ones but we're going to do a little bit more of a deeper dive of what exactly hidden gem cards are we have to jump over to the 2k25 playbook right now this is going to explain some more right here we have hidden gems and gems of the game gems of the game don't seem as exciting as hidden gems but we're going to do a bit of reading right here we've got my team in nba 2k25 launches with over 3600 player cards the 25 nba series one collection familiar to many with previous
years. My team experience contains over 400 of those cards. This collection represents the current NBA rosters filled with modern stars. So that's all standard. So this is talking about gems of the game collection. Nearly 1,700 of these cards are contained in the gems of the game collection. A returning name, but new theme. Featuring a wide variety of player cards across all eras of NBA, this collection is both a collector's delight and could contain the missing piece to your competitive lineups. Collecting cards from this collection will definitely help you with future exchanges as well. So gems of the game collection could have something to do with the exchange because the exchange right now is very dry. There is nothing right there for you. Gems of the game cards are available day one from PAX and the auction house as well as uncommon rewards across the mode. So those cards, I have a couple of these. They're not hard to get. You stumble across them whether you're just, yeah, getting packs from the season grind or if you're just open, like full, I got one out of a full throttle pack. You know, it was just an emerald. You know, I think I got a gold one. It was nothing crazy, but they're not hard to get those cards. That's why hidden gems, I think, is is uh, where the meat and potatoes of it is. We got finally almost 1,500 cards are in the new hidden gems collection. Many of these cards will be released in a future premium set. So adding a hidden gem card to your collection is getting an exclusive sneak peek at an unreleased player card. So basically that Dark Matter Michael Jordan, for an example, that card may not be released until February, March or something like that. You could potentially somehow get your hands on that card and you've got such an elite exclusive card on your squad for months before it's even released. That is, that would be amazing. Now, MJ would be amazing, but if you could get a car like that Wemby or that Yao Ming or that Glenn Rice or something that's just broken, that would be so amazing. And you know, no, you, you know you're never matching up with anyone. If you get a hidden gem card that's diamond or above, you know you're probably never gonna match up with someone with that card until it's released in a promo. To start the year, these player cards can be earned through reward packs. Then once these players player cards are released in their plan sets, they will automatically change their theme and card art to become the newly released player card, giving you a jump start on the new collection. So hypothetically, again, referring back to that uh, that Dark Matter Michael Jordan, if he comes out in say February in let's say an all-star promo and there's an all-star card art, the hidden gems card art, when that card is actually released in uh, February, will change to, to that all-star card. It will no longer look, if you pull him earlier, it will no longer look like a hidden gems card. So that's that's pretty cool. That's really cool. The hidden gem stuff is really exciting. It was only a couple days into 2K25. I just really hope 2K don't make it crazy hard to get these cards. Right here we have someone that I believe locked in the uh, the full throttle LeBron James, Wilt Chamberlain, Russell Westbrook, and got the uh, 95 plus overall. Shout out because TK he's on his grind this year, and he got a pink diamond. I'm in Dolph. So, I mean, he's been a good card in the past. Haven't heard much from Dolph in a while, but I mean, it's a pretty cool hidden gems card. Now we're gonna talk about how you can get your hands on some of these hidden gems right now. So the best way, the quickest, easiest way, if you wanna call it, is if you lock in this set, like I said. I wouldn't recommend it because it's gonna cost you an absolute fortune, whether you're buying these cards in the auction house or not. This LeBron James is not cheap. We can literally search him up right now. This card is very expensive. He is selling for 400K plus. This is a holographic, I don't even wanna know what it sells for. There are a few up there for sure. If you can snipe him for 100K, that'd be elite because I think Wilton Russ might be, oh my God, I didn't realize Wilt was over 200,000. That's ridiculous. Is Russ a buy it now? Surely Russ is at least a buy it now. No. Okay, so this is very pricey. It was gonna cost you a fortune if you wanna lock in that hidden gems pack, but that's how you can do it. That's how that guy got that because 2K got, because TK got that, uh, that, that pink diamond card. Obviously, grinding for them is much better. We want to grind. That is that is definitely the way to do it. And we have Showdown. Um, if you keep playing this, eventually you do get. I mean, you get packs and everything like that. But if you keep playing Showdown, there are there is quite a few opportunities where you can get hidden gems packs in these. But you have to win quite a lot of games, and it's not the easiest game mode out there. The, it's this is my team unlimited essentially, so it can definitely be tough. But 
yeah, there, there are some game modes available. There, there are some hidden gem packs available. We have Breakout. I've played a little bit of this. I've seen people play this and I have yet to see anyone get any hidden gems packs from these. Then we have King of the Court, which is the weekend event. You can get hidden gems for sure. Now, it is very unlikely. If you finish top 50%, you get an 87 overall player. That's just a player. Top 10%, 90 plus. Top 1% of players you get a 92 plus overall hidden gems card so that's like that's like uh diamond and above i think and if you become absolutely number one you get a 97 plus hidden gem so that is your galaxy opal minimum card so that's basically the 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 best at the game are just going to keep getting better so that's scary but at least it's only one person but chances are it's not going to be you winning this and it's not going to be me if we move over to the exchange it has been updated as well you can get gold emerald sapphire ruby amethyst and diamond hidden gem packs in here but they are very expensive to obtain for example this diamond you need five full throttle diamond cards so these are they're here but they're not really worth it they're way too expensive but something that's a bit better is in the challenges hidden gems these challenges right here they're quite long there's quite a lot involved but there's 16 packs you can get now the odds of these i just already know they're not going to be amazing but they are free so that's sort of the balance and with that being said guys that is everything you need to know about these hidden gems cards i hope this video has helped you out make sure you subscribe leave a like and i'll catch you in the next upload it's been witnessed